hope you're right. Um, I just got my my gear set for the Team Coralie CS5226 servo. So I thought I'm going to show how how to change it. Pretty simple actually. It's just a few moments you need to think of when you change the gears in the servo. You you might end up with a if you don't align them properly or center the gears, you might end up with a servo that's very nervous, jittery, vibrates in neutral, things like that. So pretty simple. Don't have to think about the bottom one, just the top one, six of them. I already loosened these so it would be a bit easier for me. Now I do this video because I, I've been using this server for two years now I think and I haven't seen a single video out there showing how to do this. So there we are. The O-ring you see there is not original, I put that there so I will not put that back this time, I'm going to leave it out. Um, Start with removing the center one and be careful because it's a pin here and of course have your have your car off. Let's see. We can get this out bearing out first. Look at the bearing. And here you see the the pin. So when you do take these out, if you either take pictures or you film as I do or you watch my film. When I take it out, so you know what order everything go back. It just fits one way, so it can't go wrong. Or you'll lay them on the on, the, on your worktop, how they should be laid in the car, in the servo, I meant. That pin should also come off, but mine is quite solid in there, so I'll leave it there. Actually, nothing wrong with it. It was mainly my, my gear. So that's how it looks. Empty. So... When you have it open like this, clean it off with a little brush. There, clean it off. Don't put stupid amount of grease or lithium grease or anything like that. It doesn't need much. Uh, I don't think it's actually anything in stock, but I like to put a tiny, tiny bit, and and I mean tiny. Um, like the, the tip of a exacto knife or something like that. So I use a very simple Halford's lithium based grease. I like to put a tiny amount there, and, and I mean just tiny there. That one can have a tiny bit. And then I have another grease. That is a silicon based grease. Ah, there. It's a dielectric one, so it's okay to actually you can put your receiver in this and it's very water repellent, but it's also very sticky, so you don't want much either. And I mean, well, we are yeah, there, not even that. And I just want to put some there down to the, what is it called, potentiometer or something like that. I just want to have a tiny, tiny bit so I get a, a little surface here so it's a repellent for water. There. Then we've got the gears. Comes with everything you need except the screws. So don't destroy them. Part number. And that's what's good with buying a quality server like this. You know you can buy space for it. There. No pins left in there. No. So there we got all the nice parts. Titanium. And that little pin there is that one I said that I can't. I don't want to force it out. There's an open bearing, so I assume the open go down. So the water doesn't stand still in the gear, in the bearing. Right, start with that one. 
in the middle magnetic and sorry for my manky fingers but I've been fixing with the car all day put that there the pin you're gonna feel don't press any hard or anything you're gonna feel that's when it's when it sits where it should then we can take the, the main gear that goes on the potentiometer this is important you see that pin there no you can't there that pin is a stock pin that have its stop there so when have it stopped there so when that's been it's going to go and slam there and there so you want to overturn the servo so it's kind of like a servo saver servo stop pin i say uh that's one trick i did on this to to make the servo last you can see the gears are gone there so i simply turned it around that's where the normal original pin went so i drilled a new hole there and put a new pin but then i could use this side of the gear for 180 degrees instead of just the broken 180 degrees so i got some life out of it there we put on that one so the pin face forward we put on this one it goes on that pin careful when you press down here because there and finally the last one I'm gonna wait with that last one is gonna go between here and lock the servo motor together with the potentiometer and these are the two you need to trim or whatever I suppose you should do this <laughs> I have always done it might not have to but I know that sometimes when your servo can get a good hit like your wheel and your servo saver is a bit too hard I mean look at these and then you complain the servo broke for me again uh, yeah you hit something at 50 mile an hour with a servo saver on full lock and then complain the servo broke oh look at it so servo saver just use a servo saver as it should be used don't lock it and uh, when that happens even if the server survives most likely these gears gonna they're going to cog over one or two. So these are not going to be synchronized or whatever it's called. And that can cause the server jittering or be very, very nervous. And hard to find neutral and this and that. So, slam on the car. Now this is going to spin. I don't know. There. Radio on, of course. And make sure the radio is in neutral. As you can see now, that's spinning. If I would have this gear there now and lock this up and just screw it together and start to go I would have a jittering servo because that is not neutral even though my radio says it is neutral and this is also where you can buy them very cheap uh, what are they called it's kind of like a servo tester you connect a tiny battery and connect your servo then you have all the different things on there so if I turn the potentiometer here now I can find a better neutral. It's very hard. I mean, it's so precise. Very hard. That's going to move again, I'm sure. Try to get this on there without moving everything. Jiggle left to right just to get the gear in there. Ah, stop it. You're moving. I bet someone out there going to say, why do I do this for? You, you know what to do, you should do this and that, there. Oh, stand still, will you? Finally got that, I had to, had to pause there for a little while to try to get it synchronized. But now it's on, it is no jitter, it's no nervous, it's no vibrations, it's no left-right movement. So it's perfectly centered. Just gotta look at that, like a Swiss clockwork. Right, put everything together. Bearing. I like to 
put the opening facing down. Here I put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that uh, uh, silicone grease, that is water repellent I have. Because you don't want too much grease because if if the stuff starts to break in here and you get metal dust, this metal dust going to end up in the grease and this and that. Or if you get sand or grit in here, it's going to end up in the grease. So really don't want anything in the server, but a tiny bit to stay, uh, keep the water out. Then just put the lid on. And you can see now the pins have, the pins have grooves that there, they go in. could also put, I've already done that before I took this apart, um, between these two parts, lid and um, the, the body, you could put a tiny tiny bit of silicone grease, just a dab on your finger, because it's so little you won't even see it when it's on there, but it's going to be a bit water repellent, because this is a tight fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very tight fit, so it's hardly any water coming in anyway. Yeah, let's put it together. And that is how you change gears on a Team Coral CS 5226. Well worth the money. One of the best servers I had. So let's see if this is working now then. No jitter. Perfect. Happy with that. Top job. Perfect. There you go. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.